How's it going everyone? My name is Hafo and today I've got another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to basically edit a simple cinematic and it it makes them look pretty good. I'm going to show you an example of what you'll be doing today. This is a video I did a while ago, well a couple of weeks ago on basically when I was asking you guys what tutorials you wanted to see and this one actually came up somewhere. Um, yeah, I got a few messages about how I did this so I'll just quickly show you. What this is what like the sort of effects we'll be adding. We're not gonna be adding the three D text though. So as you can see it looks pretty nice. And uh also before I start I just wanna say will you check out Subpar Gaming because tonight they'll be uploading our new let's play of Minecraft, which look will be awesome and we put quite a lot of effort into it, so it'll hopefully be good. So if you'll check that out, I'll leave that in the description. Okay, here's the clip um, in After Effects. And so, first of all, I'm going to add my color correction, and I'm going to do that by going New Adjustment Layer. I'm going to try and rush through this, because it, but it'll be in two parts, this tutorial. So I'll upload the second part, like, whenever. when If I get, like, a certain amount of likes, I'm not sure how many yet. Anyway, um, or maybe even not, maybe just when, when we get right into it. If you guys like want more, if you want the second part, then I will do that. So is terminal. Uh, this is my color correction, which I really like because it's dark. It looks awesome on this map. And also, if you've got 3D text, it really makes the text look part of the map. This color correction. I don't really know why. It just looks nice. So yeah, you're gonna add that. Uh, I I can leave that in the description if you want. Just leave a comment if you want to see that color correction, and um, I will give it out. So next, I'm going to add some wiggle. So I'm going to go on to where it says if um, where you know where you drop down on the clip. So you're just going to drop that down, go to transform, and where it says position, I'm going to hold Alt and click that. And I'm just going to type wiggle, open bracket. Now the first number is how many wiggles you want per second, and the second number is how it will, how much it'll fluctuate, like the variation of how much it'll wiggle and how much movement you'll get. So I'm going to go for say four comma five. So wiggle open bracket four comma five. So that'll wiggle four times a second and it'll fluctuate five. That's good. So hopefully that'll look good. And that adds like a quite realistic camera shake, which I like on a cinematic. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some. Uh, a black solid uh, click OK and then, then we're going to add some particles so we're going to go to effect um, right oh bollocks right composition right effect generate where is it no it's not generate sorry it's a simulation and CC particle world I've got a I've got a default basically preset for this I'll I'll tell you how what it is. So where it says grid, you're gonna turn that off. Birth rate zero point five, longevity or whatever it is, longevity three point oh. Producer, so position X zero, Y zero, Z zero, radius X one point five, radius Y one point five, and radius Z two point oh. You can um pause the video to look at those if you want a bit more time. Animation on to click down drop down physics, animation, fractal omni. Make sure that says Fractal Omni, not Fractal Uni, Fractal Omni. Uh, velocity 1, Inherit Velocity percent 0, Gravity minus 0 0.05, but you can change yours, or 0 0.050. Uh, resistance 0, Extra um, 0 0.5. And then we're going to go Particle, Faded Sphere, Particle Type Faded Sphere, not Shaded Sphere. I've made that mistake, and yeah, Faded Sphere. So... Then you're just going to mess around with the settings on this. This is entirely your choice. Um, uh, you can change. Just If you want to pause it on mine, then you can do that. That's fine. So I'll let you pause it now. Okay. So now you've added your particles. I'm just going to I'm just gonna parent the black solid with the uh, clip itself. So I'll get my wiggle on my cinematic, on my particles as well. So that'll look nice. Um... And make sure that your adjustment layer is above your particles, so you'll get your color correction on the particles also. Okay, so now we've added our color correction and our particles. I would like to add a pulse on when the car explodes. That is very easy, as I'm sure you will know. As I'm just going to go to position uh, scale, and I'm just going to click the little keyframe button on that, and I'm going to go forward to just before the explosion. 
So I'm going to want it to pulse. I'm going to want the pulse to start around um, there. So um, I'm going to click my little keyframe button. So 102%. Then I'm going to go forward two frames. And I am going to change my scale to around 110. And then go forward a couple of seconds, maybe three seconds. And then change your scale back to 102. Or 100 or whatever yours is defaultly at. Mine's at 102 because I want to cut off the edges. Because it leaves like a black line. Um, now I'm going to go to fast blur. Because I want to add some blur to when I zoom in like that. Um, so you just got to type that in the, bot in the side. Fast blur. I'm going to add that to my clip, and we're going to go keyframe um, just before the explosion. I'm going to keyframe it to zero, like so. Keyframe, go forward a couple of frames, and we're going to change it to four or five. I like four because I don't like it too much. I don't want it to like blared too much, and then we're going to go forward to where we zoom back out, and we're going to change our blariness to around zero. And that'll basically, when it zooms in, you'll have your blare, and then it'll un it'll basically just like the blare will begin to disappear as the clip fades out. So it looks quite nice. Um, and I think that'll I'll, that'll do for this part. Six minutes forty. That's long enough. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, could you please leave a like? Basically, the reason I've done this is because lots of people wanted to see me putting a whole cinematic together rather than just showing you one effect at a time in a video. Um, people wanted to see how I do it all at once. So that's basically why I've done this. And so very thank you for watching. If you could leave a like, that would be awesome. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.